The distance versus velocity activity setup consists of the following. You have a stand with a one meter track with a smaller rail attached to the track. This should all be set up for you. And you have a photo gate, photo gate here on the end of the track. And you have your lab quest with a one inch diameter ball. Photo gate has an electronic eye right here in the middle. You're going to need to note where that's at because you're going to put pieces of tape starting three centimeters from where the eye is. You can't only really see it on this picture, but when you look at your photo gate, you'll see an uh, opening right there. So I'm going to, my first tape mark is going to be three centimeters away, and then I'll go six, nine, twelve, fifteen, uh, eighteen, and twenty-one. And you'll need to put those pieces of tape on your ramp. LabQuest 2 uses the side digital ports, not the channel 123 ports. You're not going to use those, so I'm going to use the side digital ports, which means the LabQuest 2 has to be off when you plug it in, otherwise you may get bad data. So you make sure everything's off, you plug in the LabQuest 2, and there's only one, there's two holes on the side of the photo gate, it's obvious which one the other end of the plug-in goes to. When it comes on, <clears throat> you may get blocked or unblocked. All that means is there's an eye gate, photo gate right here. If I stick my finger there, it's blocked. If I move, it's unblocked. That, we really don't have to worry about that right now. That's just letting you know what's going on. <clears throat> the timing will probably say motion when it comes on. That's not going to work. So you need to click on motion. On the, then you click where it says motion. We need to change that to gate because we're using the photo gate. Now every time you restart it, it defaults to motion, so you have to pay attention to that. The length of this object, this is a one inch ball, which is 2.54 centimeters, so we need to change that. It may already be changed depending on somebody else has already done the lab to 0 0.0. Two, five. So that's the diameter of the ball that's going through the photo gate. That's what it's going to use to figure the velocity. So we have photo gate timing, we're gate, 0 0.025 meters long, and we're going to start in data collection with the stop button. So hit OK. You should say that. <clears throat> then all you have to do is you hit the play button. And we really only need one graph, so I'm going to go to graph. I'm going to show graph. I'm only going to show graph two because all I care about is the velocity. And I'm going to drop it through five times. So I take the ball, I put it right the forward edge of the ball, but at the forward edge of the three centimeter tape, and I let it go. One, two, three. Four, five. Once you've done that, my data is pretty consistent. You hit the stop button. Now that it's going to expand the graph to make it look like your data is all over the place. But if we go to analyze statistics and we want to do velocity, we find our maximum was 0.5. One or a min was 0.51 or a max was 0.53, so that's pretty close. Our mean, and that's what we're going to use for your data. That is your velocity at the three centimeter mark, which remember we're going to enter as meters. So that 0 0.03 meters, our velocity was 0.521. Then you will repeat that process for the six centimeters, nine centimeters, so on and so forth, and then go ahead and use that data to complete the lab per the instructions that you have. That's all, all you have to do. By the way, if you, when you start this, again, you may get a discard, ask you if it wants to discard the data you already have, just say yes and go on. Good luck.